Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be showing you how to solve a three, the 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube using the Rue method, uh, which Sean Patrick of Villanueva and Kion Mansour use, and and if you want uh, to be able to solve it, then, uh, then, then you have to know how to consistently do M2, M, M prime, sorry, M prime, M, U, U prime, U2 with, with a double flicks, and, and it's also, um, a beginner's method, uh, because I don't know how, oh, uh, well, I don't use Rue, so I'm not very good at it, but I know how to solve it, and today I'm, I'm, I'm going to be showing you how to do it. So, uh, the first step is to create two blocks on the left and right side. Um, so here, oh, we have orange, white, we're going to put that in here. And with through, oh, you have uh, a lot more freedom than with um, CFOP than here. If you want to create the first block, then... Uh, a 2x2x3, two by two by it's right here, that's the first part, and uh, the second uh, part is orange and green, orange and green is um, th that's orange green, and alright, it's right here, so first, uh, you can pair them up like that, and then you can insert it into the back, like that, or, um, or, or, instead of doing it like that, you just do it like that. Next, uh, you do the same thing, like this, except on the right side, so, red, right here, in here, and then, uh, the next two, F2L pairs, in here, but it's not actually F2L pairs, but it's, it acts like the F2L pairs. So here you pair them up, again just insert it, uh, like that because you have more freedom. And then the last one is in the middle layer, which you can take it out and put it in. And that's the first step of the Rue method. And wow, I just skipped the next two steps. Um, never mind. Alright, so uh, the next step is to get all... Of the yellow corners up um a sort of face upward so the way that you do that is uh if you know cpop already then just a picture that the cross is already finished or that the cross is no is not finished so just ig ignore the the edge pieces here and then just do uh the algorithm to uh, move around these uh corners so here, um, here you can just do pi, do you flip this one, this one, and these two. Or if you want to, uh, flip this one, this one, and this one, then just do anti soon Or slow down, r, u2, r prime, u prime, r, u prime, r prime. Or, um, if if there isn't um, a yellow piece here, then just move to this corner here and do soon R U R prime U R U two R prime, and it's solved. Um, if there are two corners solved and two on the side, then uh, if you have them diagonal, then put uh, it in a position where one is here on the left side and one is in the back here and then you just do this then you rotate back up and here uh, you notice that you have all of these solved and then the last case um, is when you have two solved and then two on the side here so uh, if you have that case then you just uh, put one of them here and one of them in the back and and to solve the ones here and then you just do white r u r prime u prime white r prime f r f prime that solves all of them 
and then that's the step and then uh the next step is to um solve all of the corners in the right spot so the way to do that is if you have two uh, of them already solved then just put the headlights on the left side and then you do a j perm or a t perm i prefer a j perm so you do r u r prime f prime r u r prime u prime r prime f r2 u prime r prime u prime that solves all of them um if you have no headlights then just hold it from anywhere and, and do the y perm f r u u prime r prime u prime r u r prime f prime r u r prime u prime r prime f r f prime and that solves all of the corners and if you need to do um uh, any aufs then do the aufs next um is to get all well on on top and bottom get all yellow or white edges so uh here we have four bad edges because one is already solved and here there's also already one but you have one two three bad edges here and one bad edge here so if you have four then there are two cases here um if you have the bad edge on the bottom in the back then you put uh the solved one on top to the front and, and then you do m prime u in any direction and then m in, in any direction and then the same thing um if it's in the front and it's over here and a th three are over here then um then I'll put the solved one in the back and then just do m prime u in any direction and m in any direction then um and if you have some weird cases like this then just move around uh, the pieces and it should be pretty straightforward intuitive just try and do m moves u moves and then you will eventually get it so here we have three here we have one and then yeah and then yeah and then you just keep on doing uh those moves until you finally get one of those three uh sorry two cases and then you will and then just do that case and then all oops then all of the uh, uh edges will have white or yellow on them next step is to solve the you are and you all you are and you all edges uh also known as the right and left edges so uh, the way to do that is on the right we have orange on the left we have red sorry my voice is very <coughs> um so here uh you want to put both of them in the bottom layer by so putting this one down here then this one also in the back so then you have both of them opposites in the bottom layer and then here uh, the one in the front is red yellow so, uh, so then you put the red headlights in the back and, and then you do m2 and then you align them and then you solve the right and left edges and then uh the rest is just intuitive so here i just got lock uh lucky um so uh here um you just do the rest intuitively but uh if you have some cases like this uh then the way that i like to uh, think about it in this case is to just uh, rotate here i do the flower pattern and then you rotate again and then you do the flower pattern again or um a, a different way to do it is to just do m2 and then from here you uh insert this one into the back this one to the front and then you align it or in this case right here where you have two over here two over here then um just um do m2 u2 m2 u2 or u2 m2 u2 m2 doesn't make a difference or uh if you have 
Okay, so like this, where this seems to go here. Then you just do this intuitively. You put this to the back. You insert it into the back. And it brings up this um, white and green one. So you put it to the front. And then you insert it. And then it should be very intuitive. So yeah, that's, that's kind of it. But now the question is, should you use Rue? So, 4 3 by 3 Rue was very, very good and efficient. Um, for a 4x4, four four, it's it's okay because it doesn't really make a difference since if you do M, then as long as you hit the middle, then it works perfectly fine. For 5x5, five five, um, it's still a doable, but it's a, a certainly not as easy as a 4x4 four four or 3x3, three, three three, and especially... Uh, if you don't have uh, a magnetic version like me, said I, sh I should probably get the Volk 5M. So, um, yeah, so it's doable uh, on on a 5x5, five five, but not as easy. On a 6x6 six six and 7x7, seven seven, just forget it. It's, it's not it's not doable. Well, almost not doable on 6x6. Six six. Um, sorry, I'll just use... Oh my gosh. Move the camera. Um, so, on 6x6, six six, again, as long as you have, um, a, a magnetic one, it's not as bad, but it's much harder to do, and sometimes it's not gonna work. And on 7x7, seven seven, if you don't have a magnetic version, then it's a total nightmare. Also, um, if, so, uh, if you're using Yao or Hoya as your big cube methods, then, uh, then the cross is, is already ready, meaning that... A uh, CFOP is good for Yao or Hoya, but if you're using a uh, reduction, then Yao yeah, is very, very good. So, uh, that's pretty much my tutorial on Rue. I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.